I'm Donna from Vantage Data Centers. Yes, the VP at Design and Engineering in APAC at Banish DC, US um, based data solutions provider. Absolutely correct. Yes. yes. So, Donna, for those that don't know you or the Vantage DC, could you? Could you elaborate on um, Vantage's newly established data centers in Malaysia? Sure. So, um, you know, Vantage is a, is a relatively new startup in the Asia-Pacific market. Um, we're scaling um, quite heavily at the moment across Asia-Pacific and in particular into, into Malaysia at the moment. Um, we've got a couple of campuses uh, inside the giant. Um, and that's keeping us rather busy at the moment, but pretty exciting times. Yeah, $3 billion, the second campus as well. You know, how does that go? You probably have to work with the Malaysian government and, you know, the digital transformation. So what are some of the obstacles that you, that have you faced in terms of dealing with, you know, fortifying its digital infrastructure? And, you know, how is Vantage DC addressing those problems for those that have are, who are interested in doing business in Malaysia but don't have that experience. Could you share some of the experience that Vanish DC has right now? Yeah, sure. Look, I think, um, I'm not sure if we're on script, Ginny, but that's all right, we'll go with it. Um, <laughs> um, look, every, every country has its particular challenges in terms of, of um, setting up a new data centre market and, um, and um, that's what I love about this role is just the nuances of, of different geographies. So. Look, there are a lot of obstacles um, heading into Malaysia, um, but you know the great thing is with the growing demand for digital infrastructure um, and you know government backing um, in this country, um, there's huge momentum behind it. So, you know, every city aspires to be a digital hub, um, uh, you know, and to support the next wave of technology uh, innovation. And so, one of the um, obviously obvious things is competition. Uh, competition is is stiff, um, and to you know, to address that competition, um, it really requires a really favourable macro environment and to be honest, you know, local policies that um, encourage market entry and ongoing expansion as well. The other consideration is, you know, training, um, having a really solid pipeline uh, and developing that talent as well uh, to support um, what we know is a huge opportunity uh, in the Malaysia as well. Uh, and on, you know, from an investment perspective, you know, solid um, financial backing um, and a stable geopolitical climate as well. So um, they're really important things for us as an organisation too as we look at our geographies. Um, and it's looking pretty good here in Malaysia currently. You know, in, in addition to Sabah Jahan, you know, are there specific markets in Malaysia? You know, some some people have said, you know, KL's uh, business centre or Johor, you know, these locations are also hot spots for data centre industries. So what is Vantage DC closely monitoring or focus on in other parts of Malaysia? Or it doesn't have to be Malaysia, it could be in neighbouring countries as well. Yeah, look, so um, for us, our, our focus at the moment is on Cyber Giant. Um, it's fair to say um, Vantage um, as a startup got away about 18 months ago, two years ago, um, with some existing assets that we acquired through an acquisition. Um, and so we already have a, a strong established campus in Cyberjaya with three, three assets and um, we've got a fourth one coming out of the ground now. Um, and then we've got another um, huge investment, um, uh, exciting engineering uh, opportunity for us as well with our KUL2 campus. So from a Vantage perspective, um, those two campuses combined will give us 287 megawatts of IT load and we're really committed to the Malaysian market, you know, having just recently announced a $3 billion US investment. So we're here to stay um, and we're really looking forward to developing um, those great opportunities and working alongside the people of Malaysia. And that's about, you know, developing a thriving ecosystem um, that we absolutely want to be part of. So some examples just recently, um, you know, our president of APAC actually met the Prime Minister of Malaysia. Um, we're engaging heavily um, um, with some of the investment um, with uh, investment bodies, we do a lot of um, work in um, uh, working with local vendors from a, a partnering perspective. Uh, contractors, it's really important to to look at how we can leverage some of the smarts that are here already um, as we look to innovate. So, getting on board um, uh, really strong, trusted partners, and for us, it's a long term journey. So, we actually want to be partnering um, and working together. 
Um, a couple of other things for us is, you know, land acquisition is key, um, uh, building strong relationships with um, with those that can, um, you know, that, that we can seek land from. And it's really important to, to for us to navigate um, a lot of complexities uh, in terms of land deals uh, here, um, just making sure we can remove some of the blockages and we can, um, we can look to um, close those deals as quickly as possible. Um, utilities is a key one, so access to to power and making sure that we are working with our utility partners around you know, the opportunities for sustainable power too um, and perhaps different power sources. So um, renewables, it's a really hot topic for us and of course it aligns with the Malaysian strategy to be carbon neutral by 2050 as well. Um, we're looking at how we can accelerate power because at the end of the day um, for us and our competitors, you know, building a data centre is all around speed to market for our customers. Um, and so for us, the whole um, uh, appetite to uh, assessing risk um, in terms of a new development, it involves a whole lot of factors. So it's competitor insights. And for us, um, we're not going south at the moment to Johor. We're sticking with Cyber Jaya. Um, we're following our customers and we obviously deploy where we have really strong customer relationships and signals as well. But partnerships, collaboration, um, a really strong emphasis to work together, a really strong sustainability um, uh, desire, um, vantage from its own corporate perspective, but obviously working um, with the community and government entities and regulatory bodies to try and, and be part of the change to, um, you know, be, be, be part of the solution to um, digital infrastructure here. You're doing so well. Um, I'm going to have Carl jump in here to ask a question for Donna. We've talked about the politics a bit. I was curious if there are any specific uh, design or operational uh, issues or factors facing you when you're working and operating in Malaysia? Um, thank you. Yeah, great question. Um, look, for us, we, we do have three existing assets and we've got a fabulous operations team here today um, on our Vantage stand. Um, shout out to the crew here. Um, you know, the reality is for us as we um, work with our um, with our customers around technology refresh, um, one of the things we need to be mindful of is, is developing our workforce um, to suit that new technology. So from a design perspective, um, obviously there's the refreshes. And for us, you know, one of my responsibilities is actually our $3 billion US campus. Um, um, I'm not feeling too much pressure right now, but I will be after that. <laughs> um, so the reality is, you know, that's a really exciting engineering challenge for me as an engineer, um, but we have to get the design right. And so there's a whole lot of things like um, we, we, when we're looking to, so, to build so large, um, we have to be cognizant of the environmental concerns, obviously. And actually, one of the great things the team's doing is looking at establishing um, a training centre of excellence for our operations team. And I'm looking at one of them down there, John. Um, so the reality is, yeah, we're really committed to the region, but um, one of those challenges on the operations side is making sure we've got a really sustainable type uh, pipeline of talent. And we've got, and I'm really proud to say, the team are developing a world-class training program. So we're really keen, um, anyone out there who is looking for development, um, and not just in the op space, but design too going forward, is we're going to have this amazing um, training centre. And we want to work with with local entities too around how we can partner uh, in that regard. So there are a couple of challenges, but also a couple of ways that we're looking to try and, and navigate through those. I just want to do a plug to all you amazing women out there, and there's lots of you here today, which is outstanding. Um, Infrastructure Masons Women's Group has established itself in the Asia Pacific region, and I have put my hand up as chair, regional chair. And just to let you know, this is all about education, support for women, looking at how we can encourage more women into the tech industry and the data centre industry is one I've been around for a couple of decades in, really passionate about that. Great opportunities for mentoring, um, learning off others and I just want to say we'll be starting a KL chapter shortly so any woman out there who want to get involved and join the committee with me, come and see me and have a chat over a glass of wine. Um, thank you so much.